So we're here on the Technology is Great stand at CES 2020 with Alan Rock from Mosia. Just tell us a bit about your product, Alan. What we've got is a motion-based measuring technology using a module which has got inertial sensors. So it's got accelerometers, gyros, and magnetometers in it. And it tracks its own movement as I move it from one point to another. And from that movement, it knows its own position in 3D space. So we can measure things like length, we can measure uh, angles, gradients, changes in elevation. But where it really comes into its own is that because it knows where it is in 3D space, we can capture a point cloud of 3D points. And so we can, for example, capture floor plans. Uh, landscapers use it to capture whole areas of uh, like lawn size, that sort of thing, completely irregular shapes. And what's the advantage over just a simple tape measure? Well, if we were just comparing it to the job of measuring like a tape measure, then you could argue there's not a significant advantage. But where it comes into its own is, as I say, measuring in two dimensions or measuring change in elevation, which a tape measure can't do. Not even a laser distance measure can do that. Um, so it's really got a lot of unique measuring modes. For example, let's say you've got an arc and you want to know the radius of it and the arc length. With Mosi, you can do that just by placing it three or four points on that arc and it'll tell you that information. So it's, it's a much more flexible tool. Um, but we're not challenging the tape measure or the laser distance measure. We're supplementing those products. How long ago did you come up with the idea? And how long has it been to, to actually get it into production? I originally had the idea in 2002. Uh, I made the first prototype in 2003. It was about 150 millimeter cube of solid aluminium. We had inside $15,000 of Russian ex-military fiber optic gyros. Um, it worked, but it clearly was not a commercial product. Um, and then I spent the next 10 years waiting for the technology to catch up with the idea. We've then spent the last five years developing the technology. We launched our first product, the Mosier One, um, on Kickstarter in March 2018. Uh, and it went into production and started shipping in May last year. What is the sort of main sort of components that go inside it from an engineering point of view then? What we're building is an inertial navigation system uh, comprising accelerometers, gyros and magnetometers. We're trying to achieve the same performance level that they have in, a, in the inertial navigation system in a Polaris submarine. We're only trying to achieve that performance for 10 seconds, whereas they're looking for that performance for 24 hours. But that's the challenge we've got because we've got to make it at a price that consumers can afford. And how long does the things like battery life in it? You know, so somebody's out there doing their landscaping, trying to measure everything up. What sort of performance do you get with the batteries and those kind of things? So it's got a rechargeable battery, and it has a you just recharge it like a, through micro USB. The, then will run for four to five hours of continuous measuring. So you don't normally continuously measure, but if you did, then four to five hours, and it's a recharge of a two hours. So from recharging it, you'd expect to get a few days of measuring before you charge it again. In, in terms of the kind of the users that you're, you're thinking will take up this idea, you know, the product, who's your main market going to be? Well, at the moment, we're targeting it people who really value the, how, the time that they can save by using Mosier instead of more conventional methods. So we're aiming it at architects, we're, um, landscapers, pavers, people who uh, working outdoors where lasers don't, aren't easy to use, for example, um, or longer distances than you'd use a tape measure for. Because we can create floor plans in about, well, say instead of taking 30 to 60 minutes, we reduce that time to two to three minutes. Then we're now getting a lot of interest from uh, mortgage appraisers, from insurance assessors, real estate agents. Um, that, that's where we're targeting it at the moment. And is it easy to take the output from Mosier and put it into something that you can see? Absolutely. We, we can export it in a DXF file, which will import into most CAD programs. Uh, we can also export it as a PDF or a CSV file, the data. Um, but we've made it so it's very straightforward to export it. And there's an API available. So we have some integration partners who are basically integrating Mosier into their, for example, floor plan sketching programs. Uh, and making it a seamless integration. And when you buy one off the shelf, how do you actually see what it's measured? The Mosier works with uh, an app uh, that runs on a smartphone which yep. support iOS and Android. The, the module itself is a totally sealed unit. There's no display, there are no buttons or anything on it. 
um, but it communicates over Bluetooth to the app. It requires no other support, so it's not using GPS or cameras or lasers. It'll work underground as much as it'll work indoors or outdoors. When you're measuring something, do you need to have the app running, or does it? Can you use the measure without the app running? You need the app running, but you can basically you can set the phone down, or you can you, if you're using an iPad or a tablet, you set it down and then just walk off with the module, and then when you finish measuring, come back to your phone or tablet. So uh, going forward, are there plans for upgrades to it? Have you got ideas to how you're going to improve it? What's the next level of engineering? We're, we're continuously developing it. The various strands, one is obviously new products with additional features. Not going to talk too much about that, to be honest. Um, but we're also continuously developing the technology to make it more accurate, to make it easier to use, and to bring the cost down. Because eventually we want to get, I mean, this, this unit is $250. And that's based on the cost of the sensors. But the, what we're trying to do is we, we see that when we get the price right, and, and the price will come down over the years, then every home will have one uh, in the same way as everyone, every home has a tape measure now.